Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson, a director at Atagen. This video will cover the Network Layout module, which is part of our Network Organizer section in the Atagen Utilities. We developed this so that we could uh, speed up network topology layouts and also to space out connections equally between different shapes when doing topology diagrams of networks, power, storage, voice, whatever it may be, and also to allow you to relay out diagrams without necessarily spending a lot of time where there's changes in the diagrams and you want to maintain and update them. So let me uh, take you through. Here we have a common starting point for doing network diagrams. We have a combination of shapes. In this case I've got some core switches. We can use right angle connectors as you see on the top left, straight connectors on the top right, and typically we want to often associate port names, IP addresses and other things. It's quite common use of uh, Visio to be able to do this, uh, but there are a few challenges and problems which is why we developed the layout connections module. The first thing is, if I connect two devices together with the uh, right angle connectors, Visio will try and make its own routing decisions as to how to put them together, as you can see. And it might get a half good or passable job to begin with, but there's no control. If we try and allocate port names on this, we've got to have a slight problem because Visio will allow you to have one piece of text. So if I click on this uh, link and I type G10-1, uh, it puts it in the center and then I would have to either move that text or I would have to actually uh, create other text. So the easiest way is just to get rid of that text there and actually create separate text boxes which we can then place by the ports. The difficulty we have with this of course is if we move the shapes they're not connected unless we start grouping them and as you can see that text box has now changed and depending on where I put it we will get different results. Um, so actually it's a real pain laying things out as a result. And it comes down to Visio making choices for you on the routing. If I use straight connectors we have a slightly different challenge that as we position connectors over the shapes it actually lays them all on top of each other. So if you're doing any form of automated layouts which is what we do with our AssetGen Connect system where we may have to create and update very large amounts of diagrams, hundreds or thousands of them, then actually it's easier to put straight connectors but they all put them on top. Um, we would still have the same problem with port names, so if I just uh, uh, put these close there, not only do I have to separate out the shapes, I have to go and uh, separate out the port names as well. And of course if I move anything they may not necessarily be associated with it. And as you can see, laying out network diagrams isn't simple can take a long time even if you have all the data together. So let me show you how our network layout module works. Here I have a number of switches and in this view you can see that it looks as though they're connected together but that's only because all the connections are laid on top of each other. If I move this switch you can see there's multiple connections to different places which just we couldn't see it because of them being overlaid. And if I drag and take across one of the connections you can now see that actually there's obviously others in there as well. So the network layout module, if I select all of the shapes and the connectors, what it will do is it will lay out and space all the connections equally so we can then see how many connections there are between things. And here you can now see this is quite a different picture and it saved us a lot of time just knowing this. As I attempt to lay things out, uh, I may put this one up here, I may put this one down there, and put this one over here, that may be one layout. Um, it doesn't work so well, so I can then select everything again and just say layer as best you think to make it easier to understand. And I may then decide to change and say actually really what I want. That switch in the center, this one beneath it, and I want the first switch trade one on the left and trade two on the right, because that would make sense. And actually now it's all over the place. So our layout connections module will then try and do its best to reorganize and make everything easy to understand. Nice and simple. What you see there also is it's positioned all the shapes on the edges. So if I move things around all the port names change as well. This is the intelligent connector which is shown in a later video where we have various features where we can turn off and hide all of the clutter but we can also bring it back if needed. If you change the numbers of connections, either because of an update to the network or the layouts and how you do things, so say for instance I 
decided to take out a couple of these connections here. You can then relay out the diagram, just select the ones and it will then reposition and create new connection points and connect everything together for you. So there's the network layout module in our network organizer section. Hope you find that useful. To explore more about automated video diagramming, we offer online and on-premise training. With our focus on IT systems and infrastructure diagramming, we aim to transfer skills which are beyond books and general Visio functionality. If you wish to move on to full Visio automation where diagrams are automatically drawn for you on large scale and are maintained and updated using overnight batch processes, have a look at our asset gen system where we cover various technologies from the physical to the logical infrastructure for both IT and non-IT systems.